that building had not been renovated since their since their moving in. Mm. And I think when it becomes challenging to make deep deep structure changes to a building, it also can become challenging to maintain and care yeah. for for some of those structures. And and so it's hard to it's hard to say clean up a bin of magna tiles mm. when the the shelf that you're store you're getting ready to store them on is starting to fall apart off the wall. <laughs> yeah. You're kind of inclined to be like, man, eh, well, I'll just shove it in the corner and, and let it go. Yeah. Which which was which presents a, a the practical challenge of how do you, you know, keep track of your materials and ensure that student work is is safe and mm. and protected and able and able to be stored. One of the the, the highlights of moving into this environment and going through our the transitions that we have this last year has been opening up conversations about how we agree to caring for our environment and protecting our resources as we want to make them last and and to help us take care of our educational environment for the future for the next mm -hmm. few years to come and so that transition is revealing the need for those conversations to reflect what individuals needs are in order to participate in the learning environment this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world for children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg. <laughs>